Sarah's disappearance in these awful and wicked circumstances are every family's worst nightmare. Head of the Met Police, Cressida Dick, there voicing, as she said, every parent's worst nightmare, a daughter who doesn't make it home. It is thankfully incredibly rare for a woman to be abducted from our streets, but I completely understand that despite that, women in London and the wider public will be worried and maybe feeling scared. But what does incredibly rare mean? Well, the latest figures show that men are in fact more likely to be victims of violent crime than women. 2% of men compared with 1.3% of women. Sarah's experience, though, has highlighted an issue that has never really gone away. The right to feel safe on our streets. With my right arm, I'm going to go underneath Tracy's armpit. My name's Steve Scadden. I'm the Chief Instructor at Revolution Martial Arts. We're based in Dewsbury. We run as a team ladies-only self-defence classes. Steve says his classes exist to empower women and give them confidence, but admits that in an ideal world, they wouldn't be needed. Unfortunately, we live in a sad world where not only women, but everybody has to watch their backs. It's not right and it's not fair, especially for women. One more time. Underneath the armpit, across the neck. Around the back. I want to help as many people as possible to not be in that situation, to be able to protect themselves from that happening. But it's scary to know that there are people out there like that, but at least the training is there for individuals who want to learn. One of the women who wanted to learn from Steve and turned to him for help was Jo. I'd experienced quite a lot of violence and different assaults, but that were the most serious. I thought I was going to die. It was just terrible, absolutely terrible. I lost my sight in my left eye. I had to get my eye rebuilt, so I've had a lot of adjustments that I've had to get used to. I've had to start again from scratch. After being attacked, Jo's eye received permanent damage and she says she'll need hospital treatment for life. It's totally stripped me of confidence. You shouldn't have to feel unsafe in your own home or even walking down the street. It's it's not right where you're living, is it? This Saturday, vigils are being held across the UK for Sarah, but not only for her, for Jo and for women everywhere who want to raise awareness and highlight responsibility. The movement is called Reclaim the Night, something which was started back in the 70s. I'm sad that it's still so necessary, but I'm glad that women have not given up. Al Garthwaite was one of the founding members of the very first Reclaim the Night marches, which took place in 1977. Back then, they marched from Chapeltown, Leeds. This Saturday, a socially distanced rally is being held in the city more than 40 years on. I'm glad that women are still standing up and saying, yes, we won't put up with this. We have to keep campaigning, demonstrating and fighting for our right to go out safely without fear. For Joe, the fact that women's safety and women's right to feel safe is still on the agenda can only be a good thing as she rebuilds her life. As long as people keep making noise and making it known to people that it is so serious, it's very important, yeah. It's something that will never leave you. I've been through absolute hell, but I'm nearly there at the other side now.